Welcome back to SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 General Manager Mode. Now at a staggering 90% complete towards a GM of the year. And yesterday, all those fires were hopefully put out on our roster. We have 100 overall. We have very low fatigue overall. We have a happy roster outside of Regal who is content and he wants a shot at a belt at some point. Don't worry. He's still content. We're fine with Big Willie there. So otherwise, everybody's good. Contractual time remaining. Jeff Hardy and Steve Austin can get the quarter of a mil on their deal for five more weeks with those individuals. And there we go that way, which leaves us with how much left? 4.4 uh, .4 mil in the bank. That's fine. That is just fine. So, nobody's injured. Like, we're doing all right here as we head towards the end of this video series and our current ongoing thumbs up rivalries to pay attention to. Here are myself and Ray at 10 weeks. It is a 11 week view. One more week and then I am done with that cruiserweight business. Steve-O and the Edgester have a 14-week feud. They're currently at 10, so four more weeks for them. Meanwhile, our tag team deal is at 10 weeks, and they have a 13-week feud. So, you know, injuries played a part there with all of this business, and it's fine. We're getting there. We're doing it. It's going to go a down. But we are here in Memphis, trying to see ya for Raw and Milwaukee, Wisconsin for ECW and SmackDown. So let's head over here into a Thursday and see what took place on those two shows. Raw was a four-star Raw. Vacant. Ashley and Tori defeat Michelle and Mastas. Helms and Molina defeat some hardcore country and hardcore Snitsky. Marcus Corvon beats Randy Orton. But Randy couldn't work for 11 weeks. They told me, out of action, how is Randy back in action? You lied to me, Randy. You lied to me. But Marcus, the IC champion. And the main event, tag team titles is Kennedy and Chavo over Sandman. And that's gotta be Kane. So how is Randy working? I don't know. Anyhow, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Umaga beats Mark Henry. Five-star ECW. Lashley and Finley lose to Kenny. Nitro taps out Kele Kele. Carlito defeats Matt Hardy with, with Elijah in his corner. And uh, Candice and Kali take down that dead man. So, okay, that was a five-star show. That was four-star match, four-star match, four-star match, three and two and a half. So, yeah, sure. Aggregate makes sense, I guess. Anyhow. We have a SmackDown to book here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And what are the contenders for the world title? I want to say it was me, but I'm currently in that Ray feud. So Punk here, I think, gets to work some non-title business because I'm not putting either myself or Edge in this mix when we're currently in our own long-standing rivalries. So I don't want to botch anything further than it's already been botched on this show on a Thursday. Let's book a SmackDown. So main events will not be this. So I'm sorry, no world title main event. Instead, in the spirit of SmackDown, it will be a tag team main event for the tag team titles because it's SmackDown. Holla holla. So let's get that one underway here in a let's put it on a ladder so tag team titles on a ladder with jtg and big shad challenging against jeff hardy and the game triple h so tag team championships on the line all low fatigue there so that works out for me fantastically uh, now we know that Stone Cold is Stone Cold. And if he loses that title, he's going to be pretty mad about it. So we're going to just make this a non-title between Steve and Edge here. So back to a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's make it a first blood match between Stone Cold and the Edgester 
but it's non-title. Because look, if Edge wins the belt and I gotta deal with an angry Stone Cold who's upset again, I'm gonna be annoyed about it. So let's just make it for now. Today, it's non-title. Because man, that's getting annoying. So, we know we got Regal and King Booker here. And we know we got Ray and myself need to be on this card. So let's change things up a little bit here and have this vacate there and say it's going to be a one-on-one, -on -one, perhaps a uh, TLC match between myself and Ray for that Cruiserweight title. So attack slug and Ray for that Cruiserweight. Well, if Ray is three, then perhaps not TLC. Let's go check on that. Because again, it's inconsistent. So health report here. And yes, Ray is three. Let's not risk a Ray injury. We know he's had that knee surgery like six, six times. So let's relax on that. So, all right, SmackDown and then attack slug Ray. Let's not do TLC here. Let's just have a regular one-on-one -on -one for that cruiser. Wait, a title. Let's change up Regal and King Booker. And have them do a submission matchup. So Regal and Book in a submission matchup. Then we still have a vacant match here with some guys who need to be put into a match. So that I think will be a fatal four-way. And I think that's going to be the right case here. So it's going to be Batista. It's going to be John Cena. It's going to be MVP. And it's going to be HBK Shawn Michaels. So fatal four-way with some deals there. Obviously non-title because there's no belt on the line there. So yes, Regal and King Booker submission. Fatal four-way promo, attack slug and Ray for the cruiserweights. First blood, Edge and Stone Cold promo. And then a tag team titles on a ladder happening. So what is our money situation here? We're at 4.4 million. So what if I skip on the money this week and instead have an interview at the opening of the contest here for a Triple H in the main event? The game wants to sit here and discuss this business. And, you know, his usual thing here. But promo number two would perhaps be building up hype for our No Way Out pay-per-view. Of course, of course, that's happening soon. So, that is our card. It looks good to me. That's one feud, that's a two feuds, uh, that's a three feuds, and that is our fourth feud right there. We don't currently have a world title feud, and CM Punk gets to sit home here on this card today. Locking it in, locking it in, and then Regal and King Abuka, who taps out. It is William Regal. Tap that to King Abuka. Now, Fatal four-way. Let's see if we can't get Big Dave Batista a win here and perhaps get himself into the title picture for that world title. He walks alone into the pit of danger. We have Mr. Hustle, loyalty, and respect. MVP is here, which means that big things popping, little things stopping. He's coming. He's here! He has arrived! MVP in the building. Hit the pose! There it is! And of course, he thinks he's cute and he knows he's a sexy. Now, of course, I don't need Big Dave to win here. Like, honestly, whoever wins here is kind of inconsequential, but we need a thumbnail, so of course, that's the deal. With that, and immediately, John Cena putting that uh, Boston put into that break his back, make him humble, camel clutch type maneuver, the accolade, whatever you call it, whatever you call it. John, I don't think so. Oh, locked it twice on me. Okay, okay. I see you, Mr. Cena. I see you. All right, so can I be successful here without having to actually use the HUD? I'd like to think so, but we'll see on that. Can I take down John Cena? and get that ding 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 gloom and no grab the john boy here on the ground and hit all of your strong grapples whoops that one didn't work that one didn't work nope nah john john cena john cena 
Who are you looking at there, John? Look at the look at the animal here. The animal, Batista. There it is. All right, John Cena, get up. This is time for a Batista bomb. The animal has been unleashed on John Cena and knocked him out. And that's what you get. Big Dave wants the big gold. He wants that world title here on SmackDown and CM Punk is currently holding it. So we will see if that win puts him into contention for that title according to the Power 25 as we head towards pay per view. So I'll take what I can get with all of this abuse. Whoever is champion come mania time, Stone Cold is a calling. So a tax slug, a Rey Mysterio, cruiser, weight, title, Rey, cruiser, weight, champion, edge, Stone Cold, who gon' bleed, Stone Cold gon' bleed. And finally, tag team titles, can crime time retain, regain those titles? No, not in that ladder match. Okay, let's head to Monday, and 93 percent that's right that's right so hartford ct no phone call nothing let's check on and make sure we're good yes we are we're fantastic love to see it so let's check on our dot com our ratings our fan support and everything else so smackdown plus 50k moving on up ec dub one two three four Five time, five time, five time. Raw is a one, two, three, four star Raw. And SmackDown, the blue brand, we have one, two, three, four and a half. This close. 2.26 ECW. Raw is a two point, I'm sorry, 1.92. Good lord. And SmackDown, 5.16. So, match of the week was a Triple H. Good for him. Cutting that promo made that a five-star deal. You love it. Fan support. Still pretty flat, but that's okay, because we're still winning by a whole lot. And we have 5.1 mil in the bank. And our Power 25. Jeff Hardy, Triple H, CM Punk, Edge, Batista, King, Book, Rey Mysterio, and Carlito up from 18. This week. Meanwhile, Slug, Cena, Austin, down there. Regal, down there. MVP, down there. So, man, crime time is down from losing a lot. But, our challengers are Edge and Batista. So, on a fine Friday, tomorrow, Batista gets to challenge CM Punk for that world title. Can he win it? with that Batista bomb. But before I leave, just to check here, who is unsatisfied William Regal? He wants a, some gold. So perhaps a fatal four-way tomorrow with Regal, King Booker, Edge, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. And of course, Austin needs to win that match, and that's gonna be tricky. But you know what? We can wait, only because He's only unsatisfied. When they're upset, they're upset. But unsatisfied is just unsatisfied. So Regal, I'm sorry, it's going to be a wait. But also a bunch of contracts got to get renewed tomorrow. I need to not forget that. But yeah, we're doing all right here. We're doing A-OK. -okay. And honestly, if I can get these three for two more weeks, that should be 100%. And does the game just end there? I don't know, but that should be 100% with those three 13-week bonuses. That should be it. That's more than 7%. I'm pretty sure. I could, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. So, certainly things on the horizon, but right now we need to save the game. One more for the week, and then I'll see you guys in the next. And it might be the end of the show next week. It looks pretty, pretty clear that's going to be the case. So, I'm a tax Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.